What's up guys, it's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, little impromptu video today. I'm actually waiting for some takeout at Buffalo Wild Wings at this location. I got 10 to 15 minutes and you know what? Let's make a video. Let's make a little video here talking about the Boss DXT Plow. We've had ours for three years. This is our three year honest review, the transparent review. I just love it when other YouTubers say it's an honest review. Does that mean all of your other previous reviews weren't honest before? I don't know, let's check it out. All right, so let's just do a quick little walk around here. Legit, I got five to seven minutes, then my takeout's gonna be ready. For all of you guys that wanna know, Buffalo Dry Rub, Chipotle Dry Rub. Leave me a comment down below what's your wing of choice at Buffalo Wild Wings or wherever you go. That's how I know you guys are watching the video all the way through. All right, let me do a little uh, walk through here. Ours is the 92 DXT, it's the steel. We just got the new blade on it uh, a little while ago, uh, about three weeks ago. I'll give you some uh, updates and stats. Uh, how much was this? It was $7,500. Uh, that was three years ago. So I'm not sure what they're charging today. I've heard it's a little bit more north. Who knows what steel's, you know, cost of steel is doing, all that mess. 2017 F250 truck, Needle Ridge Grappler tires. Absolutely loved them last year. Uh, we were able to plow in 2x4 a bunch, which really helps with that turning radius, especially when we're doing the residential snow. Uh, and then we also got the Route 1 Industries lights up on top in the... Uh, air intake or the, or the side grill here, whatever you call it. Uh, we've got the hideaway uh, surface mounts, and then we got the till uh, on the back side with the license plate cover. So, a little walk around, I guess, on the snow rig as we're talking about the plow. Now, one question I got a lot was, should we go with steel, stainless, or poly? Well, here's what I got for you guys. Uh, my research had told me, and also talking to a lot of you guys, steel was the way to go. Stainless was like another 500 to a grand. Uh, I know it doesn't rust out, might last a little bit longer. Uh, honestly, this plow is three years old. I beat the snot out of it. It still looks tip top shape. So I would love to know if you guys went with a stainless, a steel, or a poly. The reason I didn't go poly is it's too heavy. Um, that's what I've heard. Uh, somebody fact checked me. But I've heard that poly plows weigh a lot more. So when I was looking at what to get for the truck, I wanted to get a steel plow. Didn't want stainless, it wasn't gonna match the color scheme anyway. I didn't care if it was gonna rust out because I figured it wouldn't. I figured it would last five, seven, eight, ten 10 years. And then I didn't go with the poly because I didn't want the extra weight on the front end suspension, right? But if you got a black truck or a white truck, stainless does look pretty mint. I'll be honest with you, right? Um, so love to hear your guys' thoughts. Poly, stale, uh, stainless, or steel. Uh, this is the 9.2. It's just wide enough to do a couple back drags and we can clear out a driveway, but also wide enough that if we got a big parking lot like this, we can make time and plow pretty quickly. This is probably a little bit big of a parking lot, to be honest with you, for a plow, but let's just keep it simple, right? Uh, 9.2 is what we have. There's an 8.6 option, I think, and some guys get the 8.6 because then they add the wings and that brings it to about 10 feet if you want a 10 foot plow. Now. I didn't go with the EXT. A lot of guys had a lot of issues with those early on. Kind of deterred me from that. And then I didn't want to do a straight blade because I wanted the V to scoop and dump in the stack. And that was the idea with the V plow. Uh, just trying to give you guys some numbers. Again, I got about two minutes left and I got to go get my wings. The snow guard here, 400 bucks back in the day. Um, we did have a couple issues with it popping out with the, uh, the bolts in there and just zipping them in. Uh, so this came up and uh, it was kind of flexing, but they rebolted it in, you guys can see. Uh, let's look at the paint. Paint's not too bad. A little bit of chip in, a little bit of flake. A little gouge there. Uh, flaking a little bit. It's totally uh, fine with me. I mean, we've done probably 75,000, maybe 100 grand in snow already in three years. Uh, so we've beyond made our money with it, super happy. The cutting edge, so many of you guys were saying over the last couple videos and the last couple years, which I appreciate, hey, it looks like you're missing some bolts. Well, the bolts are empty, or the bolt holes are empty until you put on the replacement edge, okay? So that's why you have the bolt patterns there. So I appreciate everybody saying, hey, you look like you're missing some bolts, but the stock edge stays on the blade, the new edge bolts to the old edge, okay? And so they got the huge uh, bolts, uh, bolted on. All right, let's keep it going. How much? Uh, this was 800 bucks for a new cutting edge. I don't know how much the edge itself was, but what I did is a once over with the plow. New edge, changed the f uh, fluids, topped everything off, a little one time uh, tune up, just make sure everything was looking good. I have no idea what they did. Frankly, couldn't care less. 
I'm extremely busy. But 800 bucks, little tune up, little tidy up. We're back in business, okay? Um, we're going to try to get the Ballard Ink uh, Snow uh, little lightsaber guys here that are like kind of dimly lit on the uh, back, brightly lit on the front. Those those orange kind of like lightsaber looking things kind of helps with the plow edges. You can get those at BallardInc.com. Uh, Brian's 10 saves 10% on those, which is cool. And I think that would really help just to illuminate at night so we know where our plow edges are. Trying to think what else that you guys might have questions on. And if you do, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best. And if you guys aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe. And um, going up and down, let's look at the controllers. People always ask about that. Haven't had any issues, okay? Pins are fine, everything's fine. Wires aren't fraying or cracking or anything like that. And uh, one issue that we do have a little bit is we have to adjust these from time to time because eventually they kind of sag a little bit low, you know? So uh, dropping the plow probably a hundred times, you gotta, you know, knock those back up a little bit. All right, let me see what else we got for you guys and we'll try to wrap this up. Let me show you the lights. I love the lights. Those are a uh, partnership with Route One. Definitely love those guys and uh, shout out to my boy Yusuf. All right guys, I'm doing my best here. A little impromptu video, I'm trying to give you guys some stats. Again, let me know what you guys got. Stainless, steel, or poly. What do you guys run in this winter? Look at this, man. We still got the leaf box on, all right? We were doing leaf cleanups this morning, this afternoon. There you go. I didn't want to go with too aggressive of a blinking pattern just so it didn't like blind people or blind myself. And there's the surface mounts all lit up. And the last question people have, well, aren't they gonna reflect off the plow? Um, it looks like it a little bit so far. Okay, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, kind of beaming bright. Um, I don't know if it really is going to be an issue. I mean, look where they're sitting down low. So I don't think they're gonna super reflect off the back of the plow, but even if they did, they're on their own upfitter. Okay, route1industries.com. Brian's 10 saves you guys 10% with those guys too. All right. All right, well, I'm done looking like a weirdo in a parking lot. I gotta get my wings. What's your favorite flavor? Leave me some comments down below. Quick little fun video. We'll catch up with you guys in the next one.